guys and thanks for tuning in to another DIY Wednesday. So guys, today's DIY is going to be a floor mat. So I have two entryway and I decided that I want to do my own little personal floor mat. Because if you guys have seen, these personal um, custom made floor mats are pretty expensive. So I thought um, I'll just do one myself. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So here are the items that you're going to be using. I bought floor mats from the Dollar Tree. I got outdoor paint from Joanne Fabrics on clearance. I got a stencil also from Joanne's. And I got these paint brushes. Basically you can get them anywhere but I also got them at Joanne's. So here's where I start. So I grab a measuring tape and I try to find the center of the mat. So here's where I'm using chalk marker. I'm using it because it's easy to erase with a damp washcloth. It also helps me figure out where to start my letters. And um, I decided to use them as well for outlining my letters. So I was glad that I decided to use a chalk marker to outline my name just because um, it took a second try to make sure that it was properly centered and being able to erase it really was helpful. So now that I have my letters where I want them, I took my stencil and I started painting um, the letters in. This mat was a little difficult just because it had the ruffles so I really had to get a couple layers down of paint just so that it wasn't too gray. I wanted it the letters to stand out and look more white. Um, also, there are different floor mats. This was the only floor mat that they had at the Dollar Tree near me. So I'll be doing a second layer off camera, but there you go, Rodriguez. I felt like it was missing something, so I wanted to write family, but I didn't have a smaller stencil. So I used what I had around the house and it was these little stickers and I decided to use my chalk marker to outline them. Now I'll be painting in with my brush and white paint and, and removing the chalk marker around it. So of course I wanted to add more and I thought since it said family, why not involve the kids in it and get their handprint on the floor mat. Now that I say that, I probably should have done their feet since it's a floor mat, but I think their hands came out just fine. I really enjoyed doing it with them. They had so much fun. You probably noticed that there was a hand missing. Yup, it's my husband. I'll make sure to put his hand in once I see him. So that's it guys. I also did a welcome mat. It's pretty much the same stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up guys. Also, please let me know down below if you really liked it guys, if you, this is something that you guys would do yourself. Um, I also want to know, um, did you guys like the little handprints that I put on the mats? Um, of course, yes, I'm missing Tim's hand, but it will be there as soon as I see him tomorrow or on the weekend. <laughs> um, thank you guys once more and don't forget, please, to subscribe.